It is Money Saving Monday, and this morning we are talking student loan repayments. Payments have been paused for three years, but come August it is likely going to be go time. People are expected to start paying again. Shanna Tingham with Heritage Financial joining us live. Shanna, we know student loan repayments, they are scheduled to happen again. We know they have to come back. As of right now, they're set to resume 60 days after June 30th, unless the Supreme Court rules on President Joe Biden's student debt forgiveness plan. But before then, okay, we all have a budget. We stick to that budget, or we really try to. How is this going to impact some of our budgets out there? Yeah, that, that's a great question. And we really have 60 days to figure it out because if everything holds the way that it's supposed to, we'll have September 1st will be our first student loan um, repayment month. So we really have 60 days to live as if we're making our student loan payment. And is that how we should be living? That's Pretend exactly like it. we're doing it, that way we can actually save a little bit. Exactly, and then throw that money in savings, make that a little bit of an extra cushion, some emergency fund, and that gives you a few months to figure it out. I know, because you think about it, for pausing for three years, we've all been living at that rate, so if you have these loans out there, you kind of have to figure out how to make those payments all over again. We have short-term memory, we can't remember that. Yeah, exactly, and there are some folks that came out of college during the pandemic that have never had a student loan payment, so now they have to figure it out. What is the best way to actually be able to do that and put that money aside, actually pull it out of your account and put it somewhere safe. Yeah, I love automating that. So mm -hmm. let's set it up whenever you get paid to automatically come right out of your checking account into your savings account and automate that process because you can automate your student loan payments when those come due. Automation, it is key because then you don't even have to think about it. And there's also something people can do. I kind of dug into this a little bit and I love this idea. You can take advantage of something just based on your income. What do mm -hmm. borrowers need to know about this? Yeah, so that's called income-based repayment. And if you qualify for any of the forgiveness programs based on what you do for a living or where you work, you need to be on the IDR or the income-based repayment program. So you'll go to your servicer and you'll apply for those and then they'll base that based on your income and your payment could be as low as zero. Wow, yeah. that could really help some people out. Yeah. Okay, it's Monday morning. We're trying to get a little motivation, Shanna. What would you tell us on just how to get started? Just leave us with one last thing on, um, so that we're not down in the dumps so we're <laughs> maybe having to repay some things that have been paused for a bit. Yeah, for sure. I would say just take a look at your budget and see some places where you might be able to cut out some expenditures, some subscriptions you don't use, maybe eating out or going to drive through and get coffee in the morning and just find some small places to trim because that's where it starts. Love that. Shanna, thank you so much for joining us on this Money Saving Monday.